Bree, and this is my best friend Anya. We were so close, just like sisters. And also, Anya is my partner in crime. We always have each other's back. Me and Anya grew up together. As a kid, Anya is so full of cuteness and lively. And me? Well, I'm just me, the gorgeous one. Anya is so head over heels with his tall hands and guns named Tanya. It's like Madly almost every day they would go on a date, for hugging, just like they have their own world. And me? Always the third of Like, hey, just a little respect for the single here. We would see them as like a perfect couple. But, behind those lovey-dovey couples, we would see the dark side of their relationship. Damien would use their love against Anya. If ever Damien has a favor and it doesn't go on what he wants it to be, for like example, Damien asking a favor if Anya could make his activities or assignments. And Anya is a smart and achiever, she is also based in making hers. Damien would say, you don't love me anymore Anya. After all I've done to you, and then Anya will feel sorry, explaining that it is not true that she still loves Damien. Anya would feel bad for Damien, wondering what she would do. She doesn't want Damien to be upset with her and ignores her. Eventually, Anya would just do all of his activities or assignments in order to make Damien happy, and she is blindly in love with that guy. Well. As a best friend, I tried talking with Anya about it, but now nah, she follows her heart. And well, you know, Anya is smart, but less in love. So, what do you think? If you were Anya, what would you do? Or what could you do? But first, let me tell you what's the point in my story. As you can see in the relationship with Anya and Damien, that is what we call guilt trip. Damien guilt trip Anya in order to get a hold of Anya. To put simply, guilt tripping occurs when one person uses guilt as a tool to make the others feel bad so that the other person will change their behavior. So, what could you do in the situation where someone guilt trips you? So here is the 5 ways to put the brakes on a guilt trip by Valerie Borton. First, check in with yourself. Second, call it as you see it. Third, rewind and start again. Fourth, tell them to respect your right to say no. And lastly, deflect a trippy request with love and kindness. Thank you for watching and have a great day ahead of you. Goodbye!